what most people, I guess, are running into, or I guess a lot of people, it's pretty common, it seems like, is the bed heater just stops functioning. Um, mine just would quit, and then I could wiggle the connection back here a little bit, and it would turn on sometimes, sometimes it would not. And most of the time, if it did turn on, it would just heat creep like crazy. It would go up, you know, it would just keep climbing until I wiggled it again, and then it would stop until I wiggled it. So it was just like, it was annoying. And it seemed like a lot of the problems were these two points coming unsoldered, which, I mean, those are pretty solid on there. So... I don't get to do the easy fix. I ended up going online and ordering a Kinovo heat pad, which took like weeks and weeks to get here. Um, it's that guy right there. Uh, I bought these plugs. There's a guy, what is it? War something, war grade, that dude that did the modification. Uh, I'm kind of following him, but he didn't give really a wiring diagram. So, I mean, that doesn't really help me a whole lot since that's the confusing part. The mechanical stuff is pretty easy, I feel like. So, um, I had this SSR sitting around pretty sure it's exactly what I need, so I don't think I'm going to use the heat sink. I'm just going to print that war grade dude's uh, little external box because the one dude that shows how to wire it puts it inside of the control box and I don't know, it just seemed tight and you're running power straight to it and uh, I don't know, it just didn't seem really clean to me, so I'm going to do the external install and hopefully make a better video so anyone who is like me who's not afraid to tackle things but doesn't know what the hell they're doing can just follow my video and be able to do it. So, uh, I mean, it's pretty simple. Everyone, I think, put most of the stuff together. Um, or have at least upgraded these. So you unscrew your bed leveling knobs to pull the heating bed all the way up. Uh, I obviously unplug the power and the bed from there. And that's where I'm at here. So I pulled all the tape off, or most of the tape. So I pulled all the tape off. <laughs> and... This was, I don't know if it was glued or it just, it just lifted off fairly easily. Uh, I'm going to heat up my soldering iron and I'm going to take these two guys off. And then I'm just going to go ahead and stick these on. So I don't know if I have my GoPro around here. I might not be able to make a very good video, but I'll at least explain where I wired things and kind of show everyone so that they're not really in the dark like most of these other videos are leaving us so all right i'm gonna so i got this little crappy soldering iron a while ago and it just is not getting hot enough even though it's cranked all the way up so i'm gonna run to the hardware store and get another one so, trashing, well, just the soldering iron and keeping everything else. But I went out and bought this nice Weller soldering iron since between this and my drones and uh, I'm starting to get into electronics a little bit. Uh, it'd be nice to have something that <laughs> is not a little piece of crap. So I just plugged this in and turned it on and it was set to like 750 
it just started shooting up before I even noticed. So, um, I turned it down to 450. I'm not really sure what, uh, what temp I need to melt these, but I can increase, I guess. I don't want to just blast it. So, uh, I found my GoPro and it's been charging. So, uh, I'm going to try and get some footage of the whole process for you guys. All right. So here we go. <laughs> Decided it was time to go I don't walk away 
what made you cynical When you decided it was time to go I don't walk away Leave me to stay If you don't turn away We can be lovers I don't walk away